Hello and welcome to Grove Dodge. My name is Jasmine and today we're going to be looking at this gorgeous 2019 Dodge Durango GT in white knuckle. Under the hood she has a 3.6 V6 Pentastar engine pushing out 290 horsepower. In the front here we have your headlights, daytime running lights and signal lights and of course your fog lights down here at the bottom. Lots of tread left in these tires. They are Bridgestones mounted up your factory 20 inch rims. You have your painted to match mirror door handles. Now your mirrors do defrost. You have your keyless entry, mud flaps on all four corners, nice chrome badging. Let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. So on the key flap here, we have your unlock lock button to open up that power boots, your remote start as well as your panic. So I will just go ahead and start her up for us. Perfect, and I'll also show you how that keyless entry works. You'll simply put the key in your pocket or your bag, run your finger over the handle here, and the vehicle unlocks for you. It's a very handy feature to have. Located inside you have your gorgeous black leather seating. Now the driver's seat is powered and you do have your memory seating just located inside the door here. We have your power locks, power windows, and adjustable mirrors. Let me just hop on in. We have your lights on the left hand side, a button to open up that gas cap door, windscreen wipers on the back of the steering wheel, paddle shifters just in case you wish to go into a manual transmission mode, screen options, voice recognition, Bluetooth and of course your cruise control. Now she is a easy push to button start so I will just go ahead and fully start her up for us. So we have your charge control, your ABS, currently sitting at 23,241 kilometers, so lots of life left in her. But do speak to one of our finance managers about any extended warranty that you may wish to purchase, just to make sure that you are fully covered. We'll just flick through a few of the screen options here using these buttons on the steering wheel. Right now we're at your speedometer, your vehicle information, fuel economy, trip A and B, your stop start, trailer tow, audio, messages screen setup and then we are back to that speedometer if we go right into the middle here you have a great size touch screen giving you am fm satellite radio your media options your apps controls for your heated seats and heated steering wheel settings and of course handy backup camera a little bit further down here we have your hazard lights your dual climate control your front and rear defrost Parking sensors on the rear, which you can turn off if you wish to do so. Your stop start, econo mode, sports, and traction control. A little bit further down here, we have your 12 volt plug in, your two USBs, as well as your auxiliary. And a great size center console, which holds another 12 volt plug in. Stick with me, and I'll show you the rest. So you have that nice black leather seating throughout this vehicle. You have your captain chairs in the second row. Your pockets at the back of the seat here. Let me just hop on in. If we look up to the top, you have your rear climate control features. Now you can lock that from the front if you don't want anyone touching it in the back. Located behind the center console, you have your two USB plugins, your rear heated seats, as well as your 150 watt plug-in. Now, super easy to get into that third row seating. There is a lever at the side of the seat here. You can simply pull that up. And she will flip up, giving you tons and tons of space and those two extra seats in the back. Now, coming around the back here, those rear parking sensors I was talking about, these are just those little circles inside the bumper here. They're gonna let you know if you're getting a little bit too close to anything. To open up the power boots, there is a button on the inside of that handle. You can simply push that and she will open up, giving you tons and tons of cargo space. But of course, if you did want some more, you can easily drop that third row flat into the ground like so. Now to close the power boots, there is a button on the left hand side. You can simply push that, mind your head, and that door will close for you. Definitely a great size SUV, very well looked after, low kilometers, tons and tons of leg space. You have your carpet floor mats, keyless entry on the passenger front, as well as your power locks, power windows, and of course that powered seat. So if you'd like to take this gorgeous Dodge Durango for a test drive, we're located at 200 St. Matthews Avenue in Spruce Grove, Alberta, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care.